what's going on guys from our back at it with another one finally back at it with another one it's been a minute since i uploaded to youtube it's been like a month or more maybe five weeks or so just had a lot of stuff going on long story short had water damage to my condo the roof kind of collapsed in on one side if you don't know the weather here in southwest florida in the middle of the summer it rains every day it took a little while to get someone out there to fix the roof and then finally remediate the water damage and now my condo is under the construction process and yeah big mess but i should be back in my condo within a week's time anyhow we are here at sanibel island i stopped at my cast net spot i figured i'd bring my cameras along so you guys could see how i cast net these pinfish and pilchards i'm not going to get too detailed into the whole cast net part if you want to see how to throw a large cast net just make sure you go back to the previous video and you can see step by step how to throw an eight foot plus cast net so let's get into it and see if we can get some bait it is super low tide right now as you can see so i am definitely going to get a little muddy and one thing I just realized I forgot is my selfie stick, whatever you want to call it, for the GoPro that I'm filming with right now. So I got to figure out how I'm going to film myself catching fish later on once it gets dark. I guess I could attach the light to the bottom of this GoPro, but it makes this super heavy and want to kind of like sag down on me. So anyhow, let's get some water for a bucket first, and then we're going to get the cast net out and hopefully get some pinfish. Let it sink down. We're gonna give a few tugs. Just close the net, then pull it in. And hopefully we got some pinfish in here. We will find out. Looks like we got a couple pinfish in there. Okay. Now let's just empty out the net here get whatever bait we have out of the net just a couple that's all right three that's okay all right it's a start we just got to find them Ow. no wonder they call them pinfish put them right in our bucket pop that aerator on all right one more and we got to reset the net and toss again let's reset this net where is the end right here we're just gonna go down a ways a little bit and hopefully find a school of them in the grass usually I'm cast netting right here into this very spot but obviously there's no water so we're cast netting into an area that I'm unsure of I would imagine these things don't go too far and I am getting stuck oh oh yeah nice muddy shoes to begin the night with flip over and let's go find some more bait let's go this way a little bit further away from the spot i just threw the net on see if we see any schooling fish just small little whatever they are a little pilchards or something definitely not what i'm looking for see movement in the grass out here See little tiny mahars and pinfish right here. I'm just gonna give her a throw. Right into there, randomly. Again, give it a few jolts like that before pulling it in to close up the bottom of that net. Let's hope we got some more bait so we can actually fish tonight. And do we? Not seeing a lot of movement in there. Where's these pinfish? 
I'm gonna say no. We didn't get any. That throw, wow, okay. It's weird. Touched right into where I saw a bunch of fish swimming around. Let's just go somewhere right over here. It's a million little Maharas around. We're just gonna walk out a little bit. Definitely a lot further than what I typically weighed in. And we're just gonna give her a good old throw. And hopefully there's pinfish, Maharas, whatever, I don't care. Otherwise, we're gonna have to work for this bait pretty hard. There's not. Ooh, I got pinfish, okay. We got some pinfish. We're out a little bit deeper. Whew. Definitely a good workout using a cast net like this. I think I see some pilchards in there too, guys. Pilchards don't tend to last that long when the water's so hot though. Shake everything towards the bottom. And we got some pilchards. Come on, get out of the net. Pilchards and pinfish. Four pilchards, two pinfish. Got the pilchards here. They work just as well. If they survive. They're already floating around dead. Darn it. Little pinfish that'll work for the snapper. All right. Uh, pilchards might come back. Sometimes they do. Let's reset again. I think this time I'm gonna try throwing over that away and see what happens. Now that I'm completely dirty, covered in mud, we're gonna load up the truck and go fishing. Just got down to the spot and we're down to one camera just cause I'm an idiot and forgot my selfie stick to put my rod holder to film myself. So we're gonna get one of these pin fish that we just caught. And we're just going to vent hook him. That means right through the bottom fin and right above the bottom fin and out the other side, just like that. We're going to toss him right in front of this ridge piling. Just like so. And wait for the bite. Loosen the drag a little bit so we don't lose our rod. Put it right there. And we're gonna wait for our snapper to bite. Here we go. Oh, it's snagged up though. Darn. Come on. Get out of there. Gosh darn it. Just got a good bite, but we're all snagged. Ah, uh, might have to break off here. Yep, broke off. 
Well, we're gonna have to retie a new rig. Just got a bite, had a fish on, and just broke off. At least I remembered stuff to retie. And we're just gonna get another pinfish right back out there. Wait for another bite. Hopefully it's a big one. Two hours later. There you go, guys. Finally got something on. Feels pretty decent. Struggling to get the camera on. What do we got here? Nice, huge mangrove snapper. Huge mangrove snapper. Whew. Check this guy out right here. It's a big old mangrove snapper right there. It's like, I would say 16, 16 and a half inches, something like that. I'm not gonna lie, this is my first landed fish of the night. All right, good start though. Really good start. Big mangrove. Check out that mangrove snapper. Oh, oh, my rod doesn't go in. Check him out. What a beautiful fish. This is what we came here for. Very, very large, very healthy, big old mangrove snapper. We're going to get a quick picture and let him back in. Very nice. And I'm not keeping fish tonight, so I'm going to let this big old snapper go. And hopefully his brother comes along. Thanks, bud. See ya. Nice. There he goes. All right, let's get another pinfish on. Almost lost hope before, so let's put another pinfish on and see if we can actually pull this off tonight. I'm gonna call it a night at the bridge, but we still have, I don't know, a dozen, I can't even tell, a dozen or so live pinfish still left. It's already 9.40 at night by the time I stop somewhere to grab something to eat real quick and then get home. It's gonna be pretty late, but I think I'm gonna go out into the mangroves and do some middle of the night snook fishing and uh i'm definitely gonna need some bug spray because the only thing biting here tonight really is the mosquitoes so let's get back to the house get on the boat out into the mangroves see if we can get ourselves a snook we made it to the mangroves and unbelievably from sanibel island getting to 7-eleven then back to home and out the mangroves anchored up with a bait in the water 50 minutes just under like 47 minutes so I really feel like there's something good waiting for us tonight. Let's hope that's true. We'll find out. Here we go, guys. I think we got a snuff. I think we got a snuff. I think we got a snuff. Yeah, we got a snuff. Yes. Yes. All right. Little guy, but still. My first snook in a while for me. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Get the hook out. There she is. Oh, well, there he is. Just a little guy, but nonetheless, it's a snook. So happy to see this fish. Haven't seen a snook in over a month, maybe longer, a month and a half, two months so happy for this fish i'm gonna get a quick picture of him and let him go jersey and fl is back in business catching snook time to let him go grab him by his tail i don't know if you could really see it but we're gonna revive him already feel him kicking he's just about ready to go there he is yes yes first snook of the night we're gonna put another pinfish out there it's getting a little late it's like I don't know, 11, 15 or something. I'm willing to stay out a little bit longer as long as the snook want to play. Nice. I know it wasn't the most eventful video that you've ever seen me do. Um, literally got a few bites from mangrove snappers. Landed one really nice mangrove snapper that was like 16, 16 and a half inches. Still do have a line out behind me, by the way. I'm just keeping an eye on that as I'm doing my outro and came out to the mangroves live line some pinfish got one snook that was like i don't know 24 inches give or take something like that main thing is i'm back out here i'm fishing again video is not over guys video is not over nice fish nice snook heck yes here he is here she is video is not over I don't know if this camera's recording on my chest here. I have something weird going on, but the video is not over. We got a really good fish here. I hope this camera caught it. Nice, nice snook. 
Heck yes. Finally, a proper fish. Finally. Let's get her over here. Alright, just gonna unbutton her real quick. And there she is. Nice fish. Probably like, I don't know, 28 inches or so. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna get a picture of her and let her go. Let's get this beautiful girl back in. Just grabbing her by her tail. And we're just gonna revive her a little bit. I already feel the strength in her. And there she goes. Yes! That took like a minute and a half to get a bite. She originally bit me, got me caught up in some branches over there. She spit out the bait. I got the bait out of the branches, recast it to her general location, and she nailed it. Heck yes, this video is not over. Let's see if we can get some more. I think we got our next fish here, guys. Yep, we got something on. Feels really nice. Feels like he's rubbing on something down there. So we can get him out. Oh, broke me off. Broke me off. Right at the braid. My braid was rubbing on something and he popped me off. All right, time to retie, get another bait out. Another fish. Nice, real nice. Just scared a manatee over there, I think. We got another snook on here. That's right. All right, we're finally getting some fish here. Nice. Not as big as that other one. But still, very nice. Yes. I think I spooked a manatee. I think that's what that was. Heck yes. All right, just a little guy. I mean, decent. Better than what I have been catching here which is absolutely nothing but catfish. Seems like the snooker back in town. Come on. If this camera wasn't on, this camera hopefully was on. Oh, nope, this camera's frozen, so I think you guys missed this fish. Damn, what is going on with this camera? I don't know, this is kind of worrying me. I am going to the Amazon in like two months time and I'm starting to have issues with my GoPros. So I might have to pick up a new GoPro before I head down there. Because I can't have this happening while I'm there. Check out this fish. Beautiful snook, little guy. Probably like 24 inches, but still happy to see him. We're gonna get him right back in. Get him in there. Revive him. Get him all healthy to swim away. There he is. Thanks, bud. Yes snook number two and i'm sorry if you didn't see all that footage because something's going on with this camera here i am glad that i decided to save the bait from last night and to come out fishing for a little bit of this evening today did not think i was going to have the time but i managed to get out here i got what three snook i think three snook something like that you saw in a video i did my outro for the video last night and i'm going to stick with that outro so we're going to go back to my outro. Next weekend, I'll probably get out to the Peacock Bass Grounds, do a Peacock Bass video for you guys. I'm seeing you guys are really liking those Peacock Bass videos, which is really cool. I really enjoy going out there to do it, being out in the woods, doing a little freshwater fishing, something a little bit different than what I typically always do, which is saltwater. I'll definitely be doing more freshwater fishing video for you. In like two months time, I have a really exciting trip coming up. I'll be going to Guyana, South America, into the Amazon jungle. And I'll be fishing for arapaimas and puri, the catfish, peacock bass and wolfish, all the river monsters that you've seen on different TV shows and that you've seen in that one video in the past that I posted. Guyana, the land of many waters, the lost tapes which got a, a lot of really good feedback, so I'm definitely excited to get down there. But this time, there should be like an eight or nine, maybe more episode series coming fresh out of the Amazon jungle. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. My friends, always stay fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.